Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 on YouTube. I do not own any of this. Their properties and their trademark belong to the respectable owners. Warning. This prehistoric documentary has blood and gore, animals mating, and animal deaths, which may be unsuitable for young audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. On to the video. Hello everyone. In today's prehistoric documentary review, I'm going to be talking about with prehistoric mammals, reptiles, and etc. And that is Walking with Beasts. So let's go a little bit of history on the documentary. Now you know the history of Walking with Beasts. Let's get started on every Cenozoic animal appeared in the documentary. And here we have Ampelocetus, a walking whale. And looks accurate for the most part, but except there are some inaccuracies like. Titanomera, a giant prehistoric ant, first appearance in a documentary. It's nice to see to have Cenozoic insects get much appearance, but they rarely appear in any type of media. And here we have Gastornis. Not spider's appearance. It's not related to terror birds, because Gastornis is more closely related to and seraphorms. And plus, it's not a carnivore. Well, there are studies that if, if it's an omnivore, herbivore or not. But we don't know for sure what its diet is. Gautanosha, a prehistoric prosimian. And here you have the weirdest strangest mammal, Leptiptidium, first appearance. 
Propyletherium, a small prehistoric horse, a species of tree frog, and also an unidentified credant. Species most likely Lusthamodon. And here we have Andrew Sarkis, a largest land mammal, but despite its appearance, it's not related to dogs, hyenas, or even sheep or Masonic kids. It's actually closely related to intelodonts, hippos, and cetaceans, whales. Apidium, a primitive primate or monkey. And here we have Basilosaurus, first appearance. And I know all of you what you're gonna say. Why is it called Basilosaurus when it has the saurus, but it's not a dinosaur? Dorodon And here we have Embolotherium Now despite its appearance, it's not related to rhinos it's actually part of their own extinct group, the Brototheridae. Or the Brototheres. Meotherium, a primitive protocidian, first appearance. And here we have Physogalius, a prehistoric shark, first appearance. Papagerus, a prehistoric sea turtle, in an Eocene, first appearance. Calcatherium, Sinodictus, or in a documentary called a bear dog. And here we have Intelodont, a carnivorous artiodactyl, first appearance. And here we have the the second largest hyenodon species, Hyenodon gigas. And here I'd be Entricothere, but now it's been named Paraceratherium, a second largest mammal. Arsinotherium, a species of Calcathere. And here you have Australopithecus. Dinotherium. Dinophilus, Zebra, Jackal, Vultures, Dodecirus, a prehistoric armadillo, 
Macrokinia, Megatherium, Forest Ruckus. There were so many accuracies, like. Forest Ruckus did not live in Pliocene to the Pleistocene. It only lived in Miocene. Smilodon populatar, a South American semi-toothed cat. And this is the only Cenozoic animal that did not appear in the documentary. Warning, this is a graphic picture. So be advised. Unidentified hippopitiform horse. which I did not even know. And they used the model of propagated Ethereum. I guess they didn't have the budget to make a prehistoric horse. And here we have Pantheris spilea, cave lion. And looks inaccurate. Like the model, it just looks really awkward. And here you have Homo sapiens. Gray wolves. Megaloceros, a giant deer. Neanderthal, the woolly mammoth, the woolly rhinoceros, Zega antelope, squirrel, and the European bison. Now, there are some animals that have been lived act, like prehistoric animals. Just like with prehistoric America, you know, like the American cheetah and etc. Lived act. So, the animals that were lived act are Eurotandera, first appearance in the documentary, Kentisuchus, first appearance in Walking with Beasts. The giant prehistoric warthog and Cerritotheria maritimaticum, a prehistoric rhinoceros. Well, I guess that's it for every prehistoric animal up here in a documentary. Looking back, it was a good documentary, so it was okay. I watched Walking with Beasts on Discovery Kids channel. But there are some things that I noticed, like a certain clip has been cut out and re-edited, like with when I got the DVD of Walking with Beasts when I was a kid, and I watched it when I was in high school, because I saw the uncensored version, like the Paraceratheriums mating and the Australopithecus, you know. Like, I never noticed it until now, and I'm surprised. Man. Anyways, like and subscribe, 
hit the bell so you know if I do videos, if we do content, on the next documentary review I'll be doing, Titano Boa Monster Snake documentary, and later, Walking with Monsters. Until next time, see you later guys.